Hello friends, good to see you again through this video today. Today I wanted to talk about this simple question. Why does God allow our enemies or difficulties to follow us? You know, we all have some kind of difficulties or, you know, we may have some enemies in our life, you know, who try to do something against us, right? Whether it could be in workplace or like, you know, within family or like, you know, wherever it is, like sometimes people tend to do something bad against us. So, you know, they do something to oppose us, right? All these things are quite common for everybody. So many times we pray, we ask God, Lord, why you, why are you allowing uh, my enemies to follow me? Like wherever I go, they keep following me. And you know, wherever I go, this kind of difficulty is surrounding me. So why I should always have this kind of a difficulty following my life or like the enemy following my life? You know, sometimes we can have that kind of a question. So that is what we are going to understand today from the perspective like you know what what does god want to really achieve by allowing you know a person by allowing an enemy or a difficulty to follow our life because romans 8 28 right the bible says all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose and for to those who love him right so when when we know that we have been called by the lord to fulfill his purpose and when we love him when we serve him so we can be assured that all things that work together for good right all things that happens in our life god causes everything to work together for good so that that is why you know this question becomes more important so how i can understand this that god is working behind the scenes for my good right so imagine i wanted to share a instance from bible and I wanted to quote like a couple of important things that we can understand based on this question today. So if you uh, if you look back uh, the journey of uh, the Israel people from uh, the Egyptian bondage, right? So after they were uh, uh, they they got freedom from the Egyptians, so they marched towards the Red Sea. The Lord led them towards the Red Sea, right? And they were camping at that place uh, in front of the Red Sea. So it is at that point of time. Pharaoh once again started to, you know, Pharaoh and his army, they came chasing after them. So they were following them in order to capture them back and take them as slaves back to Egypt, right? So it is at that point of time we know that the Lord, you know, opened the Red Sea. He parted the Red Sea and made the Israelites to walk through. We know that miracle. It's recorded in, um, in Exodus chapter 14. So I'm going to use that, you know, instance and, you know, bring out these two important aspects that we need to understand why god allows the enemy to why will god allow an enemy to follow us right see if you read in exodus chapter 14 verse 4 this is what the lord is saying to moses he says i will harden pharaoh's heart and he will pursue you and i will get glory over pharaoh and all his army and the egyptians shall know that i am the lord see this is exactly the uh, what the lord is uh, doing in our life also today you know, as I said, you know, the Lord wants to show how much he cares for his children. You know, the Lord wants to show, you know, the great things that he can accomplish in the life of his children. How much, you know, he will vouch for them and you know, how much he will protect them. You know, how much he will take care of them. All these things the Lord wants to show. And that is why the Lord says, you know, sometimes your enemies, they keep following you because they, I'm going to show them the greatness of, uh, you know, my power. I'm going to show them how I will do greater and wonderful things in your life. That is what the Lord is saying. So the same way on that day, you know, the Egyptians, they followed uh, the people of Israel, you know, as they were walking towards uh, uh, the promised land, right? Like, you know, when they were uh, in the midst of the sea, that is when, you know, the sea, you know, came back again together and all the Egyptian army, the entire Egyptian army was, you know, washed away on that day. That is what the Bible says. So today, my dear friends, we need to be, you know, uh, we need to have this confidence that if God is allowing something in our life, whether it's a difficulty that you may feel like, you know, it's so prolonging or whether it's uh, an enemy who is always trying to attack you wherever you go, you know, just remind about this fact. If God has allowed it, right, if God has allowed them, then definitely there is a purpose behind it and God's name is going to be glorified out of that. That is the first thing. And then the second aspect, you know, as I was studying that, you know, as I was reading that passage, you know, this is the perspective God gave me, which I wanted to share it with you. You know, just imagine these people, Israel people, right? If they didn't have this enemy at the back, right? Like, you know, let's say Pharaoh is not chasing them. 
and they have to go ac across the sea right in spite of you know let's imagine still like you know if moses has uh, has raised his hand and god parted the sea you know just imagine without uh, some kind of a difficult situation or without some kind of a, a, a very urgent situation at the back where an enemy is trying to capture you you know would you believe that this people would have taken the step of faith to cross the sea that is the question we have to think right because uh, let us put ourselves you know in their shoes right imagine we were also part of that crowd and all of a sudden we see a sea opening in front of us and if you and i we have been asked to walk in the middle of the sea how many of us will dare to do that you know how many of us will really you know don't mind about walking through the sea right you know we may have a lot of questions we may ask like you know how long the sea will hold you know what will happen if in the when i'm just in the middle of the sea you know if it again it's going to come back the waters are going to come back so these kind of questions can come through our mind and many times we don't even take that approach right so that is the one of the reason you know sometimes god allows a difficult situation or sometimes there is an urgency situation in our life where in order to go through that door you know in order to go through the new door that the lord has opened in our life the lord will use that urgency situation or the lord will create a situation where we cannot even think about you know we cannot even think on our own but rather than we just need to go forward and you know cross that place right that is how god can you know make decisions happen in our life because he knows if he gives time right automatically our mind starts to reason out and we may have so many plan b plan c plan uh, d like that and we will fail uh, to follow the plan of the lord and that is why my dear friends when god says that he has kept an open door which no man can shut many times you know we pray to for the lord to open a door but when the lord opens the door what happens we begin to question right we begin to think about different possibilities you know we try, we start to reason out what if what else and you know what will happen if i go through this door is it everything going to be fine on the other side you know and many times because of this questions what happens we are not able to proceed through the door but when the lord wants you and me to get through the door you know this is one of the way where he uses a difficulty or where he uses an enemy from behind us who will always try to push us through the door so that eventually we get inside the door that god has prepared for us so just imagine you know how wonderful god works you know in these two things as i said these two you know points the first point is you know when god wants to get glorified in our life when god wants to show how much he cares for his children how he when he wants to show our enemies that how much you know he protects us the lord will allow the enemy to closely follow us because he wants them to see what he is doing in our life the second important thing is you know he will use the same enemy to push us through an open door a new door which he has opened where we are reluctant to get inside the door but the lord will use a difficult situation or he will use a difficulty or an enemy to push us into the new door and that is why my dear friends when we are going through this kind of a situation today in our life where an enemy is following us or where a difficulty is following us wherever we go you know just be confident that the lord is working something good in our in our life right because the bible says it very clearly he does everything for our good for especially for those who are called according to his purpose and love the lord you know he does everything according to his good which means you know he will never let you down right and when he allows an enemy to follow you right he is going to be glorified by doing something in our life and also the second important thing he will also use that situation to push us into the new door that he has prepared for you and me may the lord bless this word you all have a blessed and a happy day god bless you